Welcome to Rex Finds TV. I'm Angelie Walker. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, May 3rd, 2022. Now, let's take a brain break. So before you begin your exercise, take a moment to check in with both the body and the mind. Sitting down, just take a nice big deep breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. A sense of taking on lots of fresh air as you breathe out, just letting go of any distractions and just feeling the mind in the body more present, more aware, more focused, ready to begin. Notice how the body feels, whether there's a sense of energy, lightness, heaviness, discomfort, just becoming more aware of how the body feels, allowing the breath to return to its natural rhythm, opening the eyes again and ready to begin. So relaxing. And now for our Word of the Day segment with Alex and Randy. Hey, Randy, have you heard of the trend about putting stickers on your pencils? Yeah, I actually initiated that trend. Oh, wait, really? Yeah, I just thought it was a cool way to make your pencils way more cool. Me too, and I'm glad I finally know who initiated that trend. <laughs> See you tomorrow on Word, Word of the Day. I can just feel my vocabulary growing. Now, let's go to Destiny for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Anjali. Sports fans, the Penn Replays, which is the oldest and largest track and field event in the USA, was held last Saturday. This event is also where a lot of track stars first get noticed on a grand scale. One of this year's stars was 100-year-old Lester Wright, who ran the Masters 100-meter dash. Lester had just celebrated his birthday the day before. He finished the race in 26.34 seconds to an uproar of cheering from the stands. Hip hip hooray. Happy birthday, Mr. Wright. Now let's go to Aiden to see what's cooking. Thank you, Destiny. Today's lunch sure is delicious. It is charbroiled hamburger, hamburger bun, baked beans, sun slash veggie juice, applesauce, mustard, ketchup, and your choice of milk. Scholars, please let your teacher know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Angelique. Thank you, Aiden. I can't wait for lunch. Scholars, FSA testing is continuing throughout the week. Today is 7th and 8th grade ELA Session 2, and tomorrow is 4th through 6th grade ELA Session 1. Make sure to use your test-taking strategies, and I wish you the best of luck. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Sports fans, tomorrow's boys baseball and girls flag football have their last regular season game against Poznak. Both games begin at 4 p.m. Come out and support. And Patriots, this entire week is Teacher Appreciation Week. Let's make it official by showing appreciation for our sensational teachers. Be creative. Now, let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Valencia. Good morning, Patriots. Today's Patriots will be experiencing showering skies with a nice and warm temperature of 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Today's a great day to stay in and catch up on your favorite TV show. In weather news, flooding and snowmelt has made a crater in eastern North Dakota. A massive flooding occurred causing a 30-foot crater. The flooding wasn't the only thing that caused the crater. Freezing and condensation seeping in the cracks also contributed. This process is called frost wedging. Frost wedging is when water expands when freezing, making the crack larger. This is then repeated until there's no water left at all. Now let's check out Word But You with Scott and Sonia. Thank you! 
of Valencia. Good morning, pitches. Here's this week's Weird But True Fact. You know how tigers have striped fur? Did you know that it's not just the fur that's this color? Tiger skin is the exact same color as their fur. This happens because the pigment that is produced for tiger skin is also the same color as the pigment in their hair. The unique tiger stripes also allow the tigers to avoid being seen by their prey. Cool fact, no two tigers have the same color stripes. Every tiger is unique, just like you. So be a tiger and embrace your differences. That's it for this week's Weird But True Fact. Thank you, Scott and Sonia. That was so cool. Today's birthday boys and girls are Nandi Crump, Kaylee Robinson, and Maya Campbell. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Andrew. Thanks, Joshua, and happy birthday. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents presenting yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Ms. Stone, Ms. Onley, Ms. Manning, Ms. Newton, Ms. Velez, Ms. Williams, Ms. Danqua, and Ms. Santori. You all have the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, how many weeks are in a year? The correct answer is 52.1429, but if you said 52, we'll give it to you. Teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia question. How many ribs are in a human body? Teachers, please send your answers to PlainsDownRenaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget, this year we're all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day.